Well, I have this model here, and it's very normal and basic model. Not a good topology, but the base mesh is like that only. So first thing is, is that I need to show you the UVs also. So we have some UVs here, and that is automatic. So we don't need any kind of perfect UV for this workflow. Now, second thing is, is that we need to increase the uh, resolution of this mesh. So shift, right click and smooth here and in this case you can use this three level of smoothing now you can see we have a very very dense mesh and for this workflow we need to have this kind of high raise mesh to work with so select it yep now i don't need to see any kind of list selection highlights so go to show selection highlighting off so now we have a muscle model here you can see and this muscle model is made by my student and this base mesh also so you can see this is a very nice like muscle model not scientifically correct physically accurate but it's cool so this is also a single object and you can see the work uh, wireframe that this is also very very dense cloud dense uh, uh, wireframe is there so unhide it now what i have to do we have to go to effects and end cloth it will take a few time to get your end cloth into your viewport because of this mesh is very very heavy now when you get this end cloth you'll get this end cloth and nucleus node in nucleus node you have to select this gravity make it zero because of uh, i don't need any kind of gravity in this workflow and the solver attribute is like your quality of your simulation so sub steps is going to be 12 and max collision iteration is going to be 12 that means is what your collision and your quality is going to be good really really good so this is what we have to do in nucleus and go to n class and here what i have to do we have to go to dynamic properties and scroll down we have one option called input mesh attract make it one very important part of this workflow and go to your pressure and here you can make it 10 and go to right click and set a keyframe into frame number one go to a 10 frame and make it minus 0.5 right click set key so make sure we are in 1 is 0 and 10 means uh, minus 0.5 that's fine so this pressure and this uh, input mesh attract is one this is what we have to do into in cloth shape now we have to apply a map in it so i have prepared a map here in my box you can use any any like painting package to do this and we have this soft uh, you know blurness the transition is also there so you can see here we have so this area i don't need to affect any cloth simulation but the rest the black area should have the cloth simulation so i have got this map here is a very very basic so that is why i have told you that it the uv shouldn't be a very good in this case so now how are we going to put this cloth uh, this this map select it go to fx and go to end cloth and here we have this paint vertex properties Paint vertex properties go to your input attract 
and here you can see that uh, coalition strength make this manually input attract and uh, basically uh, here we have to select the vertex but instead selecting the vertex you can go to attribute maps and you can import the map here open and you can see in your input attract you have this map so there is no word expand only the map is very very useful to work with your word expanding now you have this muscle in muscle you have to use this uh, make collide option passive collider so here we have this collider and rigid. So let me save this file. Now the matter is to go to FX caching and click on this button to cache your end class. Now the simulation is completed. You can see that within 10 minutes we have got this nice muscle output sculpting here so few areas there that you have to clean this up but within 10 minutes you can have this kind of uh, effect and something that you can have that veins here which is coming up automatically you can see we have this kind of detail in an arm armpit you can see we have this kind of a realistic looking muscles and which is uh, based on real muscle inside of it so go to your export this one and uh, maybe export it into obj file and uh, it will take a time so new and save this in file import it and with yeah, this one merge import and yep we have got this one select this blend is uh, not proper so select this one take a blend like this so I can see that uh, we don't have any history in here so because of if you make OBJ automatically every history will be gone and you left with this only single piece of mesh which is really really high dense but still we have got nice crease output here so what I have to do, I have to do some cleanup, go to surface and brush. And here we have this smooth brush, press B and we can smooth the things out. So we can increase this power of smoothing things. End up with something like this. So import this and this is a cleanup version of that same fascia imported and here we have this one right click and use this material and you can see this is the like we have see the veins is looking correct in here so after the cleanup you can have this kind of output and within half an hour you can get this kind of output so hope you have liked it thanks a lot for watching